Hello. Light Swish got in touch with me recently and asked me if I wanted to review their Nioni Chalk Pastel Colour Pencils. So I've had a bit of a play with them the last couple of days. It's a set of 24 and comes in a really nice quality sturdy tin. And I'd say that this set is most suited to portraits. There are two trays inside which have little elasticated handles and which reminded me of Faber-Castell's Polychromos pencil tins. I think they're quite pleasing looking pencils with wooden barrels. They're smooth and feel quite nice quality. They don't have a colour name on the barrel, but they have a colour number and a light fast star. The light fast system goes from one to five stars. There are two pencils in the set with one star, the orange and the purple. There's one two star, four three star pencils and the rest are four and five stars. I'm just swatching them out here on watercolour paper, mainly just so I can look at the colour of them. I'm not super familiar with using pastel pencils, though I have got a 24 set of Derwent ones and one single Caran d'Ache. My first impression of these Nioni ones were that they laid down quite nicely. There wasn't any like scratchiness or grittiness in them. But I didn't think they were as soft as the Derwent pastel pencils and definitely not as soft as the Caran d'Ache. They produce a fair bit of dust, though obviously watercolour paper isn't the best for them. And I'll show you them a bit later on Claire Fontaine pastel matte paper. You can see me in this video using a handheld cordless vacuum cleaner for some of the dust. After I've drawn the circles and then used the vacuum, I smudge each of the circles with my finger and they do blend a little bit, but like I say, they're not super soft and don't spread a long way. There are some really lovely earthy natural colours in this set and as I said before I think it would be quite good for portraits and maybe animal drawings but it has less of a good range for doing landscapes as there isn't much choice of greens or blues and it doesn't have what I'd call true primaries. Other information on them which the company sent me are that they're non-toxic, acid free and have a 4.2mm core. It also says that they're richly pigmented and lay colour down evenly and I did think that this was the case and also that they're break resistant. I sharpened quite a few of the pencils during the course of the picture which I do later in the video and none of the leads broke and they all sharpened to a good point so I didn't have any complaints there. These are the Derwent pastel pencils I've got and my one Caran d'Ache pastel pencil. The barrel of the Nioni pencil isn't as wide as the Derwent or the Caran d'Ache. Then I just do a quick scribble with them on pastel matte paper. This is much more textured paper and holds the dust of the pastel pencils much better. I use the Derwent pencil first and I'd say that this is a medium hardness pastel pencil. I use the Caran d'Ache next and it's noticeably softer and more richly pigmented. And then this is the Nioni. You can see that the colour is laying down in a slightly more thin way than the previous two. The core just feels a little bit harder. I then try out some white pastel pencil in the respective brands on top, though I don't have a white Caran d'Ache. The Nioni on the right does pretty well. And here it is on its own.
Next up, I decide to do a full picture using the soft pastels as the base and then the Nioni chalk pastel pencils on top for the details. Here I'm just sketching a rough outline of the picture with a Nioni pencil. This is done on Clairefontaine pastel mat. I did my first picture in pastels last year in a small sketchbook. Um, I did a picture of my dog, which I'll link to down below. So this is my second pastel picture and my first time of using pastel mat for a picture. I've got a few different soft pastels, which I'll use for the first layer of the drawing, including this landscape set from Unison. Usually I tend to use soft pastels for adding details on top of watercolours or other mixed media pictures. So I've got these Jackson's soft pastels as well, which I chose and put together into this set. And then I've got these slightly harder Rembrandt ones. I'm using this photo which I took a few years ago out of a train window in Scotland for my reference photo. I start off by just filling in all the parts of the picture in large blocks. With hindsight though I'd have left the sky till last because I found that when I'd blow chalk dust away it kind of got stuck in the sky and contaminated it a bit and at the end of the video you see that I actually end up redoing the sky just to clean it up a bit. After applying the pastel, I blend it in with a soft tool, which is this light blue handled tool with like a little sponge on the end of it. I do use the vacuum when there are large amounts of dust produced in one go, but it's still quite a messy procedure. So once I've covered the whole of the background area, I get out the Nioni pastel pencils. And I was just showing you there what a nice point I was able to sharpen them to. And then I just start adding in details. I found that I hadn't blended some areas of my soft pastel enough for the 
pastel pencil to stick very well so I had to re-blend some areas a bit better. I use a sheet of non-stick deli paper to lean my hand on so that I'm not smudging the colours around too much. I went back in over the white lines of the windows with a white Derwent pencil because I found that it being softer, it was slightly more opaque than the Nioni one. You can see that in some places as well, I also go back in with soft pastels. There were a couple more places where I ended up using the Derwent pastel pencils again as they were that bit softer and could get a better grip uh, than the Nioni pencils. But overall, I thought the Nioni pencils were fine and quite enjoyed using them. 
I definitely liked using the Clairefontaine pastel matte paper. I thought it had great grip for the soft pastels. I'm not going to lie though, and this is not a reflection on any of the materials that I've used today, but I actually think I find pastel drawing really boring. This picture took about an hour and a half altogether, but it wasn't really a process I enjoyed and I had to keep taking breaks because I got fed up. I definitely will use soft pastels and pastel pencils again, but I think I'll prefer using them over watercolour or as part of mixed media paintings. As always, I hope there was something in here of interest to somebody, and thank you very much for watching. Bye!